as a new agent, how did I take 10 listings a month, month after month after month? So I'll share with you a story and it might surprise you how we got there. So I was early on in real estate, by the way, if this resonates with you, like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff you're supposed to do. Yet, let's go all the way back. So this is back before I became a coach, before I became a 30 or 30 for Realtor Magazine, before I built big teams, all that kind of stuff. This is going way back. I was young, I was early on in real estate and I was not doing great. Like it was like my first year in real estate and I was not just like knocking out a song right out of the park. I thought that I was going to need to get out of real estate. That's where I was. And I remember the day I was newly married. We had a son and I was not getting out of real estate to pay the bills and be the dad that I wanted to be. Unlike the story that I thought it was going to be, you just get in, you show houses, everything's amazing. So it's back in the day, right? My oldest, my son is 16 now. So he was maybe one, one and a half back then. And I remember the house. So I was at this open house and I was on the back deck and everyone else is succeeding. Everyone else is doing better than me. And I'm on this back deck and and I'm ready to throw it in. I'm like, this is it. I can't do this. Everybody else is supposed to be better at this than me. So I called my team leader at the time, who was kind of my coach and mentor. And I told him, I said, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm ready to get out. I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I brought the phone. I could feel his eyes piercing. And he said, if I show you how, if I tell you what to do, will you commit to taking 10 listings a month for the next several months? Taking 10 listings a month for the next several months. And I was like, I want to, but I have no idea what to do. What would I even do? And he goes, no, I need you to commit first. And he goes, it's going to be 10 listings a month. And for every listing you don't get, so if you come up short, so if it's like nine instead of 10, for every one you come up short, it's a thousand dollars. You owe a thousand dollars to some organization you don't support. And I'm going, I don't have a thousand dollars. Like, I don't know who, where you're going to get it from. He goes, I'll tell you what to do. So I was like, all right, last ditch effort, right? The Hail Mary pass of all your Mary passes. And I go, all right, I'm in, I'll do it. And he goes, okay, cool. So come in and we'll talk about what you're going to do. And I was like, awesome, like game on. So I get in there, pen, paper, ready to go. And I was like, what do I do? And he goes, I don't care what you do. Cool. That's awesome. We're like, what do I do? What do I do to go get the 10 listing? And he said one of the things that has stayed with me forever. And he said, it all works if you work it. It all works if you work it. And I said, what do you mean by that? And he goes, it all works. Open houses work, door knocking works, right? Google ads work, everything works. Networking groups, it all works if you work it. Choose a handful of those things, I don't care what they are, choose a couple and go nail them. And somehow that resonated with me and I went out and just started doing the work. Here's why I think it helped me so much. And if you're like me, let me know if this resonates with you. I think I was looking for the magic pill. I think I was looking for like the one thing. What was the one thing that was gonna make it all happen? What was the thing that was gonna make all the difference? And what he helped me realize is there wasn't one thing. If there is a one thing is to choose the two or three things you're gonna go be best in the world at. And I remember there were a couple months where I was about to put my house on the market, so I had 10 listings, and yet my mentality changed, and I did literally just whatever it took. I chose my two or three main things to go nail, and I did those over and over and over. I would door knock. One of the things I realized was, for every 75 doors I knocked on, I would get a piece of business. I can knock on this many doors a week and get this many pieces of business. I, I did it enough to know that I could get a return on it. So I did door knocking. The other thing that I did was I took care of a handful of businesses. There was like 30 different businesses that I would go to every single week, say hi, drop off cookies, make an introduction, right? See if they need anything. And I would do that every single week. And then the other one was I would took care of my database. I took care of my sphere of influence. And those were the three things that allowed me to eventually have wins. Those are some of the reasons why, especially my dad, was one of the reasons I was able to sell my business years down the road. And yet, if you're like me and you're struggling for like, what's the magic pill? What's the one thing that's gonna help me get my business? I'll tell you what my coach told me. It all works if you work it. Choose your two or three and then go now. Now, if you need help with those, reach out to me. I'd love to help you get clear on what those are. There's a formula that I can walk through to help you get clear on what your two or three are gonna be. And you go to pickwaynesbrain.com and schedule a strategy session with me. I'd love to work you through it. And here's why I would love to help you with that. Because prior to that moment, I spent so much time struggling with what should I do? And I see so many people now, especially real estate, just they're chasing 15 or 20 different things instead of narrowing it down to the handful that are gonna serve them really, really well. And I have a couple of questions that I'll ask you. We can go through that and help, help dial it in. I hope that that story helps you as much as it it helped me at that moment. Like, subscribe, reach out. Need help? Pickwaynesbrain.com. Appreciate it, my friends. Go get it.